Ladies and gentlemen, it is your amazing host with the most here. It is Team Lara. And how are you doing on this Thursday's edition? I am doing very well. Hopefully you guys and gals are staying safe. I'm staying safe the best that I can. Anyway, it is a beautiful day outside, not too shabby. So, you know, this time of year, it usually below zero. Not below zero, like, the temperatures are very weird. Especially if you live in the Indiana area in Wisconsin and the Chicago area. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter. My Facebook page is called The Rabbi Show. It is an awesome show. I think so. I do the best that I can. Anyway, let me discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to like a villain and hear my electrifying like thoughts, my amazing opinions on the subject. And of course, the article will be down below. Let's get on with this topic. Now, we have not seen Charlotte Flair, woo, on television for a while. That's fine by me. Other people prefer her on TV. I'm glad she's off TV because when she was on TV, she's getting all these opportunities left and right. More than the other women in the women's division. It's not really a fair. Probably because she has a famous dad and that's why. If she did not have a famous dad, it'd be a different story for her. She'd be in the same boat like the other women. And I guarantee you the other women are very, very pissed off at her. You know? It's not really a fair, but... I'm not a big fan of her whatsoever. I know you're going to say she's good. She's going to be a future Hall of Famer and all that stuff. But will she stay with W until she's done wrestling? Time will tell. No one has ever stayed in one darn wrestling company this long, you know? You know, if it happens, that's good. If it doesn't, then so be it. It's all about the money, you know? If someone else offer her an, an, a better contract, she will go there. But once her contract expires. But I think she's going to be here until she can't perform anymore. That's just how I will. That's just my theory. Okay. According to a, a report by Fight for Selection, uh, the NXT creating team had a lot of things planned, but things... They had to go through Raw to get through a proof. I mean, Flair was in a NXT Women's Championship picture around the, that time, but all their plans were rejected. So, I know I'm not saying that correctly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. So, she took some time off. I guess she had, like, plastic surgery. So, um, do we really need to know that? No. We all know those are fake anyway. I think McMahon paid for that. I don't know if that's really legit. Shara Flair is currently on the hiatus from WWE. That's fine by me. Owning to a plastic surgery. During her previous run in the company, fans were upset at how she was booked earlier in the year. It seemed fans were not the only ones who were, were upset. So what's your thoughts? I just skipped from article from article. You know, and not guarantee whenever she come back, she will win the Rumble for the women's division and pick the champion she chooses, the Raw brand or the SmackDown brand. Just wait. It's going to happen. I don't think that's really fair for the other women who was there the whole entire year. 
she just comes out of nowhere. You know? Just like the time it pissed me off. I don't know if you guys agree that she, I don't know how she did it. Maybe she sucked up to McMahon. It's supposed to be Ron Rousey versus Becky Lynch at Mania, but for some flipping reason, they decided to make a triple threat match. That match was good. Don't get me wrong, but I guarantee it would be 10 times better if it's a one on one match. Becky Lynch versus Ron Rousey for the women's title. But they decided to make a triple threat match. Winner takes all. You know what I'm saying? They always got to put. Charlotte flew into the mix, into the title picture. It seemed like it. And I'm so tired of it, but what can you do, you know? So, um, what's your thoughts? Do you agree with the fans? Disagree with the fans? You know? It's the same thing with John Cena back in the day. People got tired of him, get these major pushes. Is he that good in the ring? You tell me. I was never a fan of John Cena. It's, it's the same thing with about Roman Reigns. Is he that good in the ring? You tell me. You know? The only reason that Roman Reigns get this major push because he has a family um, history in the, in the WWE. That's it. If he had never had like The Rock or Yokozuna or or um, Rikishi or any of those guys, he would never get a major push. That's just my guess. Okay? I could be totally wrong. Or totally right. You know. So that's all I gotta say. Um, I don't give a darn. If Charlotte Flair ever comes back to the company. But you know. McMahon wants her back as soon as possible. So. I just hopefully they don't push her to the moon. Actually never mind. They, they did push her to the moon. And she's gonna beat her dad's record. Eventually her or um. Randy Orton, someone's gonna break the record. Everyone out there, have a good one, and I'll see you guys tonight. Deuces.